Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronox and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. This is the team that, that I'm gonna use for uh, the raid as Macalis. Gonna test out Xeno. So, let's get in there. First off, I'm gonna fight uh, Devour Rahakan. And uh, afterward, I'm gonna go for Secretary Vera. I've got some of the path already cleared. I tried a couple uh, team combination and I camped with them to see uh, which one uh, gave the most amount of uh, uh, the most amount of uh, what's it called again morale. So I came up with this team that gave 21 with food story and myth. Uh, myth is from Angelica. And the uh, food story is from Silk. There was a better team composition that gave me more morale. It was Angelica, Zeno, uh, Silk and Clurry, but I wasn't sure about the damage output of that team because my gear on Silk is not that great damage-wise and Zeno is not outputting so much damage. So I decided to uh, to go with this team, but the other team gave uh, 27 uh, morale, which is uh, pretty good, and it's a very uh, it's a quite easy to obtain team. I mean, uh, beside Angelica, four star, uh, Silk you can just do the connection. Clary is a three star. Uh, I mean, you gotta do the hero speci uh, specialization. And Zeno, well, everyone can get Zeno, the easiest six star hero so far. And I tried some other team composition. Uh, instead of uh, it was Angelica, Zeno, Kisei, and Sid, this gave uh, 18, but I scrapped that because Kisei is not easily obtainable. And. Uh, yeah, I was trying some other stuff with Clary, but Clary is just gonna reduce the damage output. It's gonna make the run safer, but uh, I, I want my burst damage in case uh, things don't go too well. And I don't want uh, to uh, spend too much time in here. Yeah, let's uh, head over uh, to Devour Rakan. I did a video already, I just went for Secretary, uh, Secretary Vera, the thing is, I didn't have enough morale because I didn't test the uh, the setup beforehand and uh, I was just like, like 5 morale off from uh, being able to fight uh, uh, Vera and uh, Arahakan, so I might publish the video or I might just scrap it and have this one instead because it, this one's gonna feature both uh, boss fights but I do talk about different things in the other video so uh, yeah now yeah, just keep on going I mean th this team is strong is just now I'm popping the egg here misclick try to target one of the ad it's unfortunate because I want the star armor to stack up on uh, Xeno so you guys can see the uh, the damage output uh, like the his damage when he's buffed there's no skill ups on him his stats are uh, uh, just a bit over a thousand uh, defense HP is very close to 15,000 136 speed, almost 100% crit uh, chance. Crit damage is, uh, is like the base, 153 only. Uh, effectiveness at 33 and 77 effect resistance. But uh, you can stack his star armor uh, passive uh, over the course of the raid between uh, from packs to pack, and then you could have it fully powered up for the boss battle. So I'm just gonna go in there. I got stuff on cooldown. Whatever. So 
I'm gonna start to work on the ad here. Uh, the sets that I'm using on Xeno are uh, Unity, Health, and Critical. There are different ways to build them. This is the gear that I had av available at the time. No, uh, no ultimate. I'm gonna try to stun this other ad. All right, so time to uh, take out the ads and uh, get ready for the uh, boss's uh, corrupted web. Wow, the damage! Well, it's a fire, fire monster. Boss is immune to uh, all these things. So there's no reason to really wait on that ultimate. And here, just before the boss goes, might as well have my whole team speed buffed. And unfortunately I cannot have the barrier uh, on with the ultimate here. But one thing I can do is... I can pop the Guardian here and have attack buff on my team and uh, critical chance buff as well. Which is pretty good. Alright, so now landing the fence down usually doesn't go so well for me. But uh, I'm gonna go for it. And uh, I'll start burning. Oh, well, you see that that, that worked out. Now, Silk. Uh, there, I'm going to go through this phase twice because as soon as he hit 50% health, he just uh, gets debuff immunity again. Now, there's no reason for me to use uh, skill 2. Uh, I mean, it's gonna heal, but I'm just gonna go with skill 2. You know, I could just, because defense down is up, I, I got the opportunity right here. Uh, I am I am fully buffed on Sid. It's gonna hurt. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh. So now I can uh, uh, stabilize, can work on the ads, and just have uh, Angelica use her ultimate in a second. I will not be uh, going too hard on those ads just yet. I want to give time for uh, Angelica. All right. Now at this point, she is stunned still. So that's not going too well. So I'm gonna buy another... Oh wait, she... Yeah, no, she's not going. So she's gonna lose the stun, then she has to go again. So I'm just gonna attack the boss a bit. Definitely don't want to be losing anyone. Can't use the speed buff. Alright. There we go. Should I take this? Not quite. I, I want to keep my souls. Okay. Immune to bleeding. I could keep it. I could keep it. it does a bit more damage. Oh, 
I'm pretty much uh, fully buffed once again uh, with the Guardian. I'm truly fully buffed now. Just need the fence down on the boss, but it's it's overkill. I can just uh, use my ultimates. Don't need to worry about the ads. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna soul burn because he's just gonna die here. It's overkill. Alright, that's it for this one. Now uh, I can definitely camp here. So th this team composition Silk, Sid, Zeno, and Angelica. It is uh, Food, Story, and Myth. So I'll start with Myth. Give plus 11. It's really working with Zeno though. That uh, that mid like it's not so popular with Silk and Sid, uh, the, but uh, Zeno is definitely liking it. So I think Zeno and Angelica is a good pair. Uh, you could be quite flexible with the other two heroes if they uh, they like uh, m the mid uh, uh, story, or whatever. <laughs> It uh, could give quite a bit of... Uh, I don't have so many heroes to test everything, but... Uh, yeah, these two together is working quite well. So, food story for plus 10. The thing is, uh, Comforting Cheer actually gives a plus 9. But I'm gonna go with food story. Yeah, Zeno's liking that one too. So you could do, if you don't have Sid, you could do do uh, Zeno, Angelica, and uh, Silk, and uh, your fourth Lorena is very, Lorena is very good in terms of morale, so she could be the fourth. All right, so. Let's uh, let's just teleport. Zeno is mostly like uh, an arena PvP uh, hero. Arena and Guild Wars, he's gonna be amazing. Super annoying to deal with. Be it if you build him uh, with speed, or if you build him super tanky. Uh, if you make him tanky and slow, you should definitely go with uh, a counter set on him. And uh, with the Bissell Crown 5-star uh, uh, artifact or uh, Sierra Rand 4-star. Uh, Bissell Crown gives you a chance to stun, so it's going to up his skill 1 stun chance. And with the counter, it could definitely like mess up the enemy team. Also, um, if you go with Sierra Ran, it's a chance to apply a debuff, which is going to be a different debuff than uh, if you, s let's say, you land Silence and Bleed. It's going to, uh, if it procs, it's going to land a different debuff, so that's cool. Or if you use Skill One and Stun, it's going to land a different debuff than Stun. Can be super annoying in, in PvP, in even in PVE. Uh, I'm using Ethica Scepter, which gives you a, a reduced uh, cooldown by one turn at the start of the battle. Uh, it has like 38% chance, I believe, at plus 15. It's it's good for PvE. For PvP, uh, Ethica Scepter, like, it's gonna have him use his ultimate more often always good if you get like super lucky let's say let's say he's on your arena defense or uh, guild war defense and uh, you build him well there's different ways to build him you could go speed to initiate and open up on the enemy and mess up their uh, their plans if you're silencing like their damage dealer like their healer support whatever it's definitely uh, gonna mess up their plan unless they have a uh, debuff immunity uh, before you do it or if let's say their support that can uh, clean debuffs uh, has 
let's say high effect resistance or you just don't land the size because it doesn't proc and then you, they would cleanse one of the debuffs on their teammates but it could just cleanse the uh, the bleed but if you have uh, zero ran artifact four star there could be uh, three debuffs on the enemy and it, it would be protecting the silence debuff so that's another plus there but if you use it like a scepter you're gonna you're gonna cycle through your uh, like your ultimate is gonna be happening more often and it's gonna disrupt the enemy team but if you have Abyssal Crown, you can stun with skill 1 and 3. Now that's super annoying. Stunning in PvP is huge. And if you, if you pair that with the counter set, you don't have to go crazy speed on him. But if you do go uh, high speed, you're gonna like potentially land Silence, Bleed, and even like a stun. If Silence doesn't drop, it's like an extra uh, chance to uh, disable them. If you go speed and just initiate, fir initiate first, could be super dangerous. But if you make him super tanky, he could be the last one standing. At that point, you could even build him with uh, life steal. Imagine him uh, life steal, last one standing. His passive if, is fully uh, like powered up to uh, uh, 10x. And imagine if you, it's skilled up, that's 80% increase in damage for skill 3 and 80% increase in defense. At that point, he's the... Uh, he has the highest defense in the game and he's super tanky it's gonna be like extremely annoying to deal with and you cannot uh, remove that uh, that passive buff off of him because it just stacks and you, you just can't dispel it and his ultimate is gonna disrupt the, whoever is left on the enemy team like the bleed the silence and then depending on the artifact you're using super annoying if if i build him on lifesteal and okay speed and super tanky uh in terms of artifact abyssal crown is definitely going to be extremely uh, annoying to deal with but ithaca scepter works as well those are two five star but zero ran for four star is definitely definitely OP even like uh, Prophetic Candlestick 3 star anyways I'm gonna make a guide for him but he scales uh, very nicely with health Man, his damage is nothing insane but you have to remember he's not a pure damage dealer he's a mage and he has quite good survival. He has high defense for a mage, but his health is on the low side. For, for a mage, it's actually uh, a pretty good health, but uh, compared to other heroes in the game, it is low. Considering he scales off of health mostly, attack does uh, scale his damage, uh, but it's uh, it's not as much as uh, health. Let me turn off my skills here. So having a high health pool and then having your defense go up with the, your passive and then combine that with a life steal set, oh my, like if, if the enemy team cannot take you out early on and they keep on using non-attack skills and stack your passive, like imagine just Xeno with a, a healer like Angelica on defense, like Guild War defense or Arena defense. If they, take, they, they can't take you out early on, it, it's going to be rough. If you have an Angelica that's very quick, and <clears throat> if you have a hero that has um, that boosts your combat readiness early on with super high speed, you could have your combat readiness booster go, like Rosie that just got speci uh, specially changed. Uh, I'm just going to use my potions here. I don't know what's the state of my heroes, but whatever. And uh, yeah, you go with Rosid, and then you go with Angelica, and then the enemy team is like, oh, what just happened? Like, they got uh, they got debuff immunity right there. 
and like barrier and like they got speed buff and like Rosie's got continuous healing going and yeah it's it's gonna definitely like mess their team up unless they, they, they uh, remove your buffs all right Secretary Vera just gonna go with skill one here try to land the fans down got it but it doesn't matter it's getting cleansed in a pop try to start dealing damage to the uh, this cocoon at this point might as well use this thing I could save it though but I don't want to get debuffed and I got the bear protecting me and uh, let's go with the, the ultimate of Xeno that's quite a bit of damage like add the bleed that's some good damage. He, he must be X10 at this point. He must be. I mean, we'll see in a second. When the boss does that. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't see it. <clears throat> Pretty certain it's X10. Because. When I did the run just to come to Sector Vera straight up, uh, he was at X10, and now I, I mean, I killed uh, Devourer Rakan and came here. There was more fights. Well, not that many, but there was no buffing really from Devourer Rakan, so it's pretty much like nothing happened there. I was killing the cocoon and the eggs faster than. Uh, I was killing them faster than they were able to uh, use their uh, non-attacking skill, so... Beautiful. Oh wow. Not crit though, but still. Oh baby. Just heal here. Now oh, the boss is gonna go in a cocoon because uh, she's lower than 50% health. Killing the ads in the process and giving a uh, stack of uh, star armor on uh, Xeno, but fairly certain he's at plus 10. 10 stacks already. Comes the unity. Well, there's a dual attack, it could be unity or the base dual attack chance. Got plenty of, plenty of time here to deal with the cocoon phase. You, like, you've got four turns, which is plenty. Now, at this point, I could definitely just go crazy on the boss with this thing, but. This is actually quite low. That was no attack buff. I could have used a guardian to buff my attack and crit chance. Not too worried. Just try to show the battle with without doing too insane amount of damage. Like here, I, I, let's just use it. Look at that. Look at that damage. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. That was almost 7,000 on the cocoon. I mean, there's defense down, so that doubles the damage output. But then there's two stacks of bleeds, which won't hit for too much because Xeno's attack is not so high. It's at uh, just a bit over 1,000, but still. That's what happens. He's got his, uh, his passive fully st stacked, and it's going to trigger here. No, it doesn't trigger. Thought it would. Uh, I think Sid needs some. Yeah, it's Sid two turn cooldown. I think he needs a bit of healing. Beautiful. I mean, now uh, Secretary Vera is uh, weaker because uh, she was taken out 
Uh, her, the cocoon was killed before the four turns. Bit of damage here. Yeah, quite a bit of damage. Start doing. See knows going then enjoy. So you can. Yeah, whatever. Just get some damage. No defense down, though. Let's attack down debuff, but still, he's uh, mostly scaling off of uh, health, so it's no big deal. These, these Dust Devil procs on Sidar have been crazy though. Like, his star armor just procced and he's gonna do it again. See, it's, it's X10. And the uh, final one, and that's attack down debuff on himself. He doesn't have attack buff. I'm just gonna burn so he gets an extra turn. Let's just see the damage. Mostly scaling off of health. Oh, non crit, rip. Non crit. No attack buff. Like, he does scales off of attack, but it won't help that much. Oh, uh, remember, Secretary Vera is of the earth element, so he's actually getting. Uh, he's at elemental disadvantage. Meaning he's uh, glancing his attacks and it's not dealing much. Alright, minus 30. I mean, that's pretty much it for this. Let's uh, let's see the final damage output. And uh, should I buy something here? I think I'm just going to save up for... Uh, it's all farmable stuff. There's this necklace. It's unity. But... I don't quite need it. Prefer a crit damage necklace. But it could potentially go very high in speed. And that's pretty attractive. This can be farmed. All the other stuff can be just gained. This is good though. This can get you Galaxy Bookmark. Gold Transmit Stone. Like there's some goodies in there. You're gonna have to think about it. Doesn't one of the boss just drops? A unity necklace? I guess not. There's the speed neck here. Attack. It's just a ring. Alright, let's just see what dropped here. There's better drop rates from the bosses. Oh, galaxy bookmark, that's that's very good. Don't really care about the rest after getting that. Oh wait, I got uh, three uh, coronation souvenir. That's cool. I mean, this this is pretty good. It's only item level 60, but hit set, health percentage, good substats for a support. Unity's flat attack, unfortunately. I never know what the subset could be. But yeah, good run. Let's see the battle results here. Wow. Zeno did actually pretty good. Like, he's in... He did as much damage as Silk. I'll show you the gear. I mean, Silk brings speed buff and speed uh, debuff for the enemy. Uh, well, Zeno brings uh, silence and uh, stunning, but still got some skill up. Zeno doesn't. Zeno's more tanky. They're two different heroes, but of course, like it's nothing close to the damage of Sid. But remember that I did Soulburn Sid, and Sid has some crazy gear. So here's the gear, and he's got skill ups as well. So skill ups first, Sid. 
Zeno doesn't have anything, but yeah, that triple S uh, memory imprint for uh, almost 15% effectiveness, quite useful. Still get a bit of skill ups. Angelica skill ups. I mean, the, the healing increase would be nice if I go further in the skill ups, but this is what you want to rush to get that uh, minus one turn cooldown. All right, so here's the gear. Just pause if I go too quick. But yeah, as you can see, the the, the gear on Sid is uh, pretty crazy, and I I got him to uh, use his Soulburn ultimate and hit for what was it, thirty six thousand damage in the past. So you can't compare him to to Zeno already. But yeah, a very tanky hero. And uh, he, he did quite well in a raid, like, because this thing will be uh, fully stacked very early on. And you could use him as your frontliner. If, if you do, uh, Prophetic Candlestick becomes quite attractive at that point. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And you'll be seeing a bunch of my videos popping up on the screen. We got guides and gameplays, arena PvP, hero uh, guides and reviews, and a bunch of uh, different team compositions running uh, uh, Wyvern 10, uh, uh, Banshee 10, and some Golem, but I don't really farm Golem with the. Uh, with, uh, well, I just don't farm Golem. I prefer a uh, speed set, crit set, hit set. And uh, the sets from uh, Banshee over Golem. But I'm working on a second account and it's uh, it's gonna start to... I'm gonna farm uh, Golem first and uh, see uh, how I can progress. Anyways, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'm out for now. Peace.